everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to double up. Thought we all need cheering up because it's a bit of a come down, isn't it, after watching the Masters all week. So we're going to go through the features on the brand new Golf Buddy W11 watch. Some nice upgrades on the watch this year from the ceramic bezel to being able to sort of see how far each and every one of your shots goes. So I thought what better thing to do, I've actually come out to play this morning. Well, I sounded like I brought my A game then, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I meant the fact that I'm actually playing golf. Playing on Saturday, playing today, need to for Road to the Open. So let's go through some of these features straight off uh, from this tee. First thing that I really like, and I'm a big advocate of this, coming back from my caddying days, is the ability to see what I've got in front of me. So I've got my front middle back and I can see that. You can also see my score right now, which is... Uh, Maybe good or bad, I'm not decided yet. Um, swipe into the right, I get a good view of what I've got to carry. So I really like this feature. I can zoom it out as well, see the whole hole. You can start to plan things a little bit easier, a little bit better. Also, if you want a bit more of a detailed view of what's coming up, here's our green. But then let's have a look at our features. So I could see here, I've got 216 to the bunkers on the right, 198 to, cap to the bunk on the right at the start of it, 216 to carry it. And then the most important thing right now is we want to know how far to get over that water. 196. 196. So I know into that wind, it's cold today. I need a pretty good one. So straight off, you can see the difference here. If you actually gamed the W10 from last year, you'll notice the upgrade of the ceramic bezel. I think this makes the watch look a lot more premium and a lot more like a watch that I would personally wear off the golf course not just categorize it as a golf watch. Less of that, let's hit this in a way. Into out the right, I know I've got to get it at least 197 to cover that water. Come on, feature, it's gonna expose me now. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he's just delivered. Good ball. Oh, I am absolutely happy days with that shot. So you know when you get that good one, I think this is the feature that you only want to whip out when it's good. This is the brand new feature here. I'm gonna swipe to my right and I'm gonna start my distance here. I wanna see how far this shot's gone. I've just walked five yards back from the tee, so add five yards to this as well. <laughs> so if you hit a good one, you wanna show off to your mates and go get in the clubhouse and go, look how far I hit this one. Well. Use the shot feature, and this is a shot distance feature. You can set it going, you can also then go back to your main screen, really, really easy to use. Let's head down there, see how far I've hit it, and talk through some more features. So you know I was saying only whip this feature out when you've hit a good one. 248, have a look at that bad boy. If it was a bad drive, it would have gone, yeah, it's a great feature, that, but I'm not going to show you how far I've hit it. Okay, so let's go back to our main screen. We're going to pause that and we'll save that one, will we? <laughs> okay, 86 to the middle, 70 to the front. This flag's at the front now. So I'm going to go onto this other screen again here so I can see, obviously, where the bunkers are. If it's a course you've never played before, you want to know where the bunkers are. On the right, on the left what I've got to hit into. And I think if you can see what you've got to hit into, you can be a lot more confident. Now, this is a tricky green here, and I can see exactly the shape of this green. So I know if the bag flag's back left, I've got to sort of be very wary of this little bit of a knuckle that cuts out. So, flag at the front, I'm gonna go and add on a roughly around 10 yards. So I'm gonna play it an 80 yard shot, because I know that flag's, it looks about 10 yards from here. So I'm going to use that front number as mine. 80 yard shot, this is going to be my 50 degree. So I know I mentioned the shot distance tracker and I think this is a great feature for you to actually understand how far you hit your clubs and you can make better sense of using the watch better. Some of you might go, I don't know how far I hit my clubs. Well, what better way to find out how far you hit them is actually get your yardages out on the golf course. <laughs> I am buzzing with that shot. Always put your divots back, guys. Okay, I'm actually going to measure this because 50 degrees being a bit of a funny one for me right now. So I want to see how far I'm actually carrying that ball. So 
I'm gonna walk up to the green now and see where my pitch mark is, just so I can make some better educated decisions using this watch on future holes or future rounds. Let's head to the green. Okay, so let's see how far that one went. So right now I'm on 66 yards. I've been, you know, I've played this morning so far, I keep finding they're hitting it a lot further than I'm anticipating that 50 degree. So let's have a look where it pitched. Dead on where it pitched. Okay, I think that's my pitch mark there. 70 yards. So I wasn't far off actually what I wanted to pitch it actually. So my decision, actually, maybe it was that one. Did you get that one? <laughs> it's more fresher that one. Yeah. So 73 yards that went. So I'm just going to log that because for next time in my head, so I can just. Basically, if I know if I've got a different number or got a bit further, I know exactly how far that club's going. This is that point on the green, you know, I'm showing you on here. This is that point on the green where we are there. Uh, it's where I've hit it. Flag is roughly around where my little finger is. Right, let's hit this putt, then we'll show you how you can actually use this to record your scores, as well as the rest of these fantastic features. See what, that had a sniff that. That had an absolute sniff of going in. Okay, do you know what we've not even mentioned today? What did we think of Matsuyama? That was some performance, wasn't it? Class. My shouts did well. <laughs> <laughs> I said Matt Fitzpatrick. I mean, it did okay. You know, performance of the week. I'm going to say his first name, Will. Salatores. Salatores. What a performance from him. Okay, I'm gonna log my score in on this watch um, because I need to make sure I keep it three over and I wanna do this right now. Okay, so it's logged my score, 15th hole, I made a four and that was a two putt. So you can really nicely get a great picture of what's going on in your round. Quickly see the rest of your scores. So, so, so easy. Okay. Let's just drive over here and talk through the rest of these great features. Let's just remind us of some of the features that we've spoken about already, as well as going through the rest of them. I'm going to have to read them out because there are a lot of features here. Okay, number one, waterproof. I think it's got to be essential, especially for us living in Manchester, right? <laughs> we play 99% of our golf in the rain. Don't be fooled by YouTube when it's sunny like this. Number two, and this is a great upgrade for me, I mentioned this earlier, it looks a lot more premium, is this stylish bezel. I really like this, and I think it's a watch that I would definitely wear more on a day-to-day -day basis now, so it's serving as that dual purpose watch, so I, I like that. Now, this is some of these two features that are um, available in the majority of US courses, so if you're watching this in the US, you have auto slope adjusted distances, so think how many times you're hitting uphill and it is coming up short. This watch will adjust that slope because it always plays a little bit longer uphill and a little bit shorter downhill. The other thing is here, green undulation view. You get a little bit of an understanding of where the slopes are. So say for example, that 15th there, I could see a little bit of a master's thing, slope, could have used a slope. I'm talking, I'm talking like I'm good enough to do that. Um, those two features are available on majority of US courses. And the great new thing, and this is one of the upgrades from the W10 to the W11, is that distance shot calculator. I've used it on that hole to know how far I'm driving it on a day like this, when it's a little bit cold, the ball may be going a little bit shorter, or if I'm not happy with a certain club, I'll just go around and use some holes to find out how far I'm hitting it. Let's also go through exactly the rest of these features. Distance to front, center, and back of the green. Easy to use digital scorecard. I love that feature because I can't be bothered fanning around with a card, if I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> I think it's losing so much, pencil. yeah, losing a pencil, doing all that sort of stuff, I can't be bothered. The distance to the hazards, 13 hours of battery life, and wearing this is more of a day-to-day -day watch, you can have a traditional watch face or a digital watch face. I very much prefer the digital watch face. I like that kind of style on those watches. And it also includes two different straps. You've got more of the colorful blue, white, and red, more of the golf buddy colors, but I prefer the all blacked out colour. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of review of the main features of the Golf Buddy W11 watch. Not a bad score for me, let's get to the rest of the round.